Your Natchez History Minute is brought to you by Natchez National Historical Park. George and Ethel Moore Kelly moved from New York City to Natchez in 1901, occupying Melrose, the great suburban estate he had inherited from his mother. In 1950, shortly after her husband's death, Ethel Kelly hired Fred Page, a 19-year-old man, to work at Melrose. Page became more than a chauffeur and butler for Ethel Kelly. He became her right-hand man and with time helping more and more with the management of the estate. After she became ill in 1973, Ethel Kelly spent most of the remaining of her life hospitalized, but with daily visits from Fred Page who kept her informed about the day-to-day -day operation of Melrose. From 1973 until 1976, when the estate was sold, Fred Page alone was in residence at Melrose ensuring everything remained in perfect condition. When Johnny Bailey Callum purchased the estate, they opened Melrose to the public on a daily basis and Fred Page became their primary tour guide. It was only natural that when the Department of Interior purchased Melrose in 1990, Fred Page became a ranger with the National Park Service. Today, at age 85, Fred Page is still an employee of the Natchez National Historical Park and represents one of Melrose's most valuable resources in understanding the history of one of the greatest treasures of the American South. I'm CJD, an intern through the Natchez National Historical Park through the Green Youth Foundation. Fred Page is my grandfather and this has been your Natchez History Minute.